So, I don't know if I'm gonna attach everything into the video. I did some like cleaning and stuff like that of the car, uh, different parts and stuff, kind of boring. Um, where I left off and I primed, made sure oil was moving everywhere. So, I don't know if I'm gonna add that in or I'm just gonna start a new one. But I only got a couple hours of daylight. Um, firstly, I got this uh, <coughs> custom purge valve in from Logan. This thing is so fucking sweet. So it's gonna sit back there. Um, this is kind of build quality. It is insane. Holy, I mean, this is, then we have braided line here, and this attaches up underneath, oh man, this just looks so fucking good, dude, he killed this, um, he makes them by order, or not by order, um, bulk, I believe, so... I could leave information to him if you guys are interested in this. He also sends out leave that, uh, two sensors, which is crazy. Um, yeah, sends out two new sensors as well. So that's, I mean. Wow, I'm just taken back by how great this quality is, truly. And now we get a bit rid of this massive ass thing. Thank God. And this thing was burning on the pipe back here. So, yeah. Uh, all right. So I got my catch can set up. It's still loose, but I got this bracket to mount in a second I'll see where I'm gonna mount this I've got this ridiculous purge valve off the car so that's done with I now have custom purge valve so that's gonna be nice don't know if that's going on today and then I have the purge valve from a Kia Hyundai, or whatever the fucking car this is. I don't even know, but we're gonna try it. Um, the next thing I need to take off is these, so I can get my catch can line ran. Uh, so I'm just gonna take this off. And then I believe I have to heat this up possibly. I'm not sure. Oh, Jesus. That is on there. Oh, because they're O rings? Yes, they are. I wonder if I could just run it in the back of the intake there. Uh, where is my... Yeah, that hose is not going to fit. Need a little bit bigger of a hose. So for this sensor, I need to find a little bit bigger of a hose. Yeah. And then I'm gonna run this from the back of the intake. Yep, that sensor will reach, it'll sit back here like that. And then this catch can, it'll connect right into there. Itch. And that bracket will be nice right there 
I'm gonna make sure it clears uh, strut bar and everything. But I'm thinking I drill right into there. That'll work perfectly, I think. Yeah, then the line will just run straight. So I think that'll be good. So let me go find a, uh, a thicker line to see if I have one. If not, it's fine. Uh, I'll do it this week and get that done. This line is a little too small. We got the fitting out, and oh my god, that thing is kind of stripped is an understatement. I think this fitting is too big, unfortunately, so I'm going to have to order another fitting. Yeah, that is way too big. Holy shit. Okay. So I need to get another fitting. This thing is, well, I had to take it out, but stripped. So, unfortunate. Which one is this one? Oil food fitting. Yeah, I have to go size down. So I'm gonna take that with me. That's gonna be done. As for this, um, it has to go this way because of the clamp onto the back of the um, crank case. So I think I need to take a um, heat gun and once these are separated, so once these are separated, I would run, I would take this piece off here, run hose from this, so I'll, I'll heat gun and take this off as well. So the hose will basically go from this side into this side. This should be just riveted as well. This is just heat wrap. And then a hose from there into the catch can. So um, that's what I think is gonna happen. So I'll take this and I'll do that this week. So and get the hose. And that way we're done. With that at least. Um, catch can will be mocked up. That looks good to me. Um, kind of bummed about the wrong fitting, but that is a common trend right now for me. Um, what else do we have to do? We could probably start on the purge valve. Um, I do need to take. Or we could do the heater hose delete. So, we have this fitting here, which should go into, which should loop the heater, the heating uh, core system. Um, just because I'm tired of dealing with it, and in Virginia, you don't need a, you don't need your heater core hooked up for it to actually, uh, to pass inspection not like this car will but you know what i mean um plus i don't drive it in the winter or won't be driving it in the winter so i'm not really too concerned about it um so i'm gonna start disconnecting the heater core lines and then hopefully i have enough room to kind of manage that in there and then we can uh just go ahead and loop it so it should be easy. This is the part right here. I don't know if you can see it. Just bought off Amazon. Yeah, part number is right up there. But yeah, I'll get on that and then I'll check back in. All right. So pretty much all I gotta do is cap both of these off, and for now I can just turn that into that, but I'll buy caps so it's cleaned up. But for now, I'm gonna turn that there. And now for the tricky part, is this line here needs to come up and loop into this right here, right in there. Um, and it's already kind of a clusterfuck inside. A little bit. It definitely is. Um, 
this fuel line right here is very close. <sighs> um, not really sure. Maybe I could take that off and kind of move some things around. Like, pull that. Maybe move this fuel line up here. And then I'll just like move this. there then I could like that's kind of moved I'll put some heat shielding on that I mean that's already better damn and I got some space now okay um, that was a lot simpler than I was making it out to be um, I do I am gonna take this heat wrap off because I bought some better stuff that was just kind of mock-up purposes, but uh, what the fuck? Oh, that's for the purge valve. I was like, wait, what? And then I'm gonna cut this off with my cutters later. But I'm just gonna move that up there for now. That's how that's gonna sit. Right up there. I could probably just zip tie that. I say zip tie. God damn it. I might zip tie that up. You see, back there, it kind of. It kind of hits. So if I could get something up here to hold it. That would be ideal. That would definitely be ideal. Um, this here needs to be shielded as well. Just a lot of movement back here, to be honest. So. Huh? We're getting there it's really just a couple things holding this up um, I just need to find an or the orient orientation for this um, for the heater core system I just don't want it anymore it there's just no way around it I feel and the internet will let me know that there is a way around it but you know for me there wasn't so I do still have the hose so we're gonna be using that this will be looped there so that um, it's getting dark I might wrap up this but this is basically just an update video I could throw on this here I believe that just sits down there. So, yeah. I'm going to throw this on real quick. And then, i going to show you guys what it looks like. Alright. I am going to take off the intake. You guys probably can't hear me. clean these bolts up. These things are atrocious. Uh, I am running out of daylight quick. <clears throat> Damn. I'm fucking weak as piss. Um, this last bolt here is always a pain. There we go. So, 
we got it. We got the intake loose and off. So what I want to do. Huh? No. Is run it behind. Let's see if I can clip it. So what I did was run. I don't know if you guys can see it. Let me get my flash. Let me get my light. There it is. Sorry, it is a goddamn mess. So, ooh, I just smacked the fuck out of my camera. So if you see it down there, it's clipped in. It's gonna run behind the intake and come out right over there. So I'm gonna get that buttoned up. I'll put that right there. I like where that is. Let's see. If I can put this back. Cool. I don't want to forget another sensor because that shit freaked me out. Yeah, we got clearance. We are solid. There we go. Snuck those up now. It is getting dark. Oh my land. Alright. Get that out of the way. I do want to get new hardware. This is very, very crusty. Too much oomph on that one. I ain't even gonna lie. This one first, tight. You don't need to go fucking balls deep. Just tight enough to wear. A little tight. Last one. Good. All right. So. Plug that back in. Again, no more leaks. Actually, I'll do this the right way here. Do that the right way. Cool. So now it's off the top. It's going to be routed behind the intake. go clipped in wow that looks really good it is coming out over here fuck yeah dude the next piece of the puzzle 
will connect down up over here where I was having issues initially. So, and that's just a fitting with heat wrap, so it'll be fine. Um, I don't know if I want to put that in just yet. that will go yeah I don't know if I want to put that in just yet but we'll see I do want to plumb that sensor put that in there before the day is done Got my sensor. Um, let's see if this is the perfect way. This has to go. Yeah. It is. So that's going to go in there just like that. And the sensor will plug in, or it should. Perfect. And I think this should just clamp. right in perfect damn does that look fucking beautiful holy crap so that sits behind you guys can't really see it now because it's fucking dark as shit but There it is, you see it, the red, right, right in the back of the intake, comes through here, plugs up right there, um, man, it's a good ass product, I still need to run, put my light up, I still need to run this here, and that comes with a fitting there, and that's going to clip back there and connect to the sensor but i still do have to run this i'm just waiting um just until i get my um my heater core looped then i'll run that so that's pretty much the only thing i'm waiting on but as it gets darker i think i'm gonna have to call it there uh, hopefully this coming weekend we can have a start in idle um, I'm hopeful I'm hopeful it already starts idles a bit but there was a couple of things that were just misplaced the perfect valve wasn't connected um, just other little random stuff that just needed to be reconnected and redone and you know, everything was touching the pipes. So it's just a work in progress for sure. Um, stoked that we already got the first startup. Um, so, you know, so that's pretty much it. I think we're gonna have to call it here. Um, that's all I got really for today. Just a quick update. Um, like I said, I don't know if I'm gonna put the cleaning baby in there. Clean some things, scrubbed, um, and bled, and primed my oil lines. Just a little stuff, so I may or may not throw that in. It just depends. All right, I am calling it there. Um, it's getting dark, and I don't want to rush anything and break anything in the dark. 
Um, not a ton done. I had an hour and 30 minutes basically. But a lot of planning done. That was mainly what this was, is update and plan so I can get parts ordered. Um, it's mainly just fittings and stuff. Um, getting together, started the loop, the heater core system, so that's nice. Um, that'll be taken care of hopefully next week. I do have that 90 fitting, but I might need to break it up one more time. Um, it's just super tight down there, especially with this going back into, or the wastegate filtering back into the exhaust. It is very tight. It is very tight. Um, so that's something I got to do. Order some fittings. I then now have to make a custom bracket for the uh, PCCV, I believe, uh, catch can. It's going to go in the back. I have to modify this. That way the sensor plugs in. My stripped feed fitting. Um, tapped it out. It's good. I just need to go ahead and order another one. I ordered the wrong size like a fucking idiot. But that's fine. Um, what else? What else? What else? What else? Got the purge valve ramp behind the intake. Waiting on waiting on this. I just that's like one of the last things I need to do. Um what else is on the checklist? I need to go through and now that I know all my wastegate lines, turbo lines are all perfectly ran, everything makes sense. I'll probably clean them up a little bit and go through and not hide them, but I mean, look at down there. It is just wire after wire after wire. It's atrocious, honestly. It really is. Um, so I'm going to go do that um, during the week, an hour or two there. And then, um, yeah, hopefully this weekend we can go ahead and crank this over, build some oil again, and then hopefully idle for a two three minutes and get that done because i do want to get this car on the ground under wastegate pressure by our semi deadline is three weeks nothing special it's just three four weeks under wastegate not fully tuned that's the goal um so we'll see but you know, I appreciate all the love on the last video. It's like almost a 2K, which is kind of crazy. Um, you know, so I appreciate all the love on that. Didn't expect it, especially now with a car like this. Everyone's typically into Skylines and fucking 1,000 horsepower Supras. But nonetheless, I appreciate it. Um, and yeah. Should be an update video at some point, probably Thursday or Friday on this. And then first start on the weekend. We can get this thing idling, dialed in. Alright, peace out.